When it comes to thermal imaging on the go, the HSF Tools Finder S1 aims to strike a balance between portability, performance, and price. This pocket-sized powerhouse promises to deliver real-time thermal vision in a sleek, lightweight form. Perfect for field inspections, DIY diagnostics, or even outdoor adventures. But how does it feel in the hand? Does the compact design compromise functionality or image quality? In this video, we take a closer look at the Finder S1 to see if it lives up to the hype and where it stands among the growing crowd of handheld thermal cameras. So let's dive in! So let's start with the unboxing and see what we're working with. Right off the bat, the packaging looks sleek and professional. You've got the classic sturdy box with the thermal camera's image on the front, and it feels like they've really put thought into the presentation. Opening it up, you'll find the thermal camera nestled securely in foam padding. Always a good sign that they care about protecting the product. The first thing that's eye-catchy is the build quality. The Finder S1 feels solid in the hand, with 0.9 ounces not too heavy, but definitely sturdy enough for daily use. It's got a really nice grip, which is great if you're planning to use it for long periods of time. Inside the box, you've got your camera, a USB-C adapter, a user manual, and a carrying case. The user manual is pretty detailed, so setting it up looks like it's going to be super easy. It has this ergonomic grip, and even though it's small, it sits really well in the hand and attaches to the smartphone, making it comfortable to use for longer sessions. The camera itself looks high-tech, with its sleek design. Overall, first impression is positive, and the unboxing process is quick and straightforward, and the presence of all necessary components out of the box allows for a hassle-free setup. The camera is ready to use as soon as it's charged, which is a significant advantage for users who need a thermal camera in the field without any delays. All right, let's jump into what the Finder S1 has to offer and how it actually works. Setting it up is super straightforward. You just plug it into your Android phone's USB-C port, install the app, and you're good to go. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with iPhones, even though they now have USB-C too. One thing that really stood out to us is how efficient it is. It doesn't need its own battery. It only uses 0.31 watts of power directly from your phone, which is super low. That means you can use it for a good stretch without worrying about charging. In our testing, it ran smoothly for one to two hours straight. Most of the battery drain actually came from the phone screen being on, not from the camera itself, which is pretty impressive. The app that goes with the Finder S1 is clean and easy to use. It didn't lag or freeze during our tests, and it even launches automatically when you plug the camera in, which is a nice time saver. The app also recalibrates every 10 seconds to keep things accurate. Though to be honest, that frequent recalibration can get a bit annoying. Luckily, you can switch it off and recalibrate manually if that works better for you. One small hiccup, when you rotate your phone to landscape, the temperature readings don't always rotate with it, which can make things a bit hard to read at times. As for the thermal imaging itself, it's actually pretty solid. The camera has a native resolution of 96 by 96, but it uses something called Live Super Resolution to bump that up to 720 by 720, which gives you a much clearer and more detailed view. You can even turn on your phone's regular camera to get some visual context for what you're seeing. That said, it's not as sharp as the high-end thermal cameras, so if you're trying to spot tiny details, you might need to take a closer look. But it can also meet some basic needs, such as home inspection, HVAC inspection, automotive inspection, electrical inspection, mechanical inspection, etc. In terms of accuracy, the Finder S1 really impressed us. It's sensitive to temperature changes as small as 0.04 degrees Celsius, and it stays within about plus minus 3.6 degree Fahrenheit of the actual temp. You can even fine tune it by adjusting settings for emissivity and distance which is great if you're scanning different materials like wood or brick. This little gadget is super useful around the house. It can help you find drafts around windows and doors, making it easier to seal up leaks and save on energy bills. We even used it to spot heat loss in the attic and check for air leaks and ductwork. And it's not just for home stuff. 
It's also handy for car maintenance. We used it to detect an overheating wheel bearing and even a radiator issue. After getting some real hands-on time with the HS F-Tools Finder S1 thermal camera, we were genuinely impressed by how much this little device can do. It's sturdy, compact, and easy to carry, which is always a plus. The thermal image quality is sharp enough in comparison to its specification and size. It starts up fast, and the controls are super intuitive, so you can get going almost immediately. The color palette options and spot temperature readings were especially useful. They gave us the info we needed right away, no extra gear required. And the battery held up nicely too, even during longer sessions. Sure, there are a couple of small things, like the app needing a bit of refinement and the refresh rate being average, but they're not deal breakers. Overall, whether you're a pro or a DIY enthusiast, this is a powerful little thermal camera that's easy to use and won't break the bank. Bottom line, it's a smart buy for anyone who wants reliable, portable thermal imaging without the fuss. So, that's all about our experience with the HSF Tools Finder S1 Thermal Camera. Drop your thoughts or questions in the comments below. We're happy to share more details about our experience with you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next review.